she hasn't seen her son in years, and uh, she was excommunicated from the church. And so uh, it, it's she's still a Christian woman, and she still, you know, dresses a certain way, but um, she's been uh, outcasted for some time now. So she's it's the first time she's seen her child in a long time when you first meet Sarah. I think having a son with powers, there is an uncertainty there of what he's capable of. His um, powers get stronger the older he gets. And so I, I don't know, you know, what she, what she expects will happen to him, but I think that it's not a shocker that he needs to be somewhere else because he clearly has something happening to, to him that's not of this earth. Well, reading the script, I mean, I didn't even need to read the script. I was like, oh, I want to work with Jeff Nichols. <laughs> He's one of my favorite filmmakers. So for me, you know, I actually auditioned for this film for Jeff. So I just wanted to be a part of it. And he could have written anything on that page, and I would have wanted to be a part of it because I just admire him so much as a filmmaker. You know what it is about Michael? It's his eyes. I mean, those eyes are so powerful. He doesn't really have to do much, you know? And whatever his own life experiences have has given him, it's given him such a, a like a darkness that he can tap into that, that but also he can be really funny too. So... It, he has a, a wealth of whatever's inside of him, he has a wealth of. And that pen, as soon as you look in his eyes, you, you feel it all. We were in a car all together a lot. And my character is a little bit reserved with Joel until she really knows, you know, who he is, where he's coming from. Is he on our side or not? Uh, but Joel's a sweet, I mean, he's just like a, a nice dude, you know? I mean, we all went out to dinner. He's just like a fun, nice, really chill actor. Jaden is a very wise little boy, and it's just in his eyes and in his soul. He's a very mature child, and I think that to have that responsibility and know that you have these powers and, like, handle it in a childish way and then sometimes in a very adult way, he just embodied both, both things and so well. I was impressed with Sam and Adam. I mean, everyone's performance in this movie is really good. And that's the sign of a good movie, where you're not like, God, he was amazing, or she was blew me away. It's like, when something's good, you're just like, oh, this movie's so good. You know, and usually not one performance stands out as like, you know, the star. And I feel like this movie's just, it's a solid movie, and everyone's great. I watched Close Encounters again before making this film. And also, this film just has the kind of feeling of an Amblin Entertainment film from the 80s. You know what I mean? It just has that feeling. So th that's Jeff's, you know, aesthetic or what he's been inspired by. And I think that he does it in a really original way. So, it, but it does harken back to those movies when I was little, like, ooh, is this too scary for me to watch? But it's totally okay for me to watch. So it's, you can, as a kid, watch it, but also adults are getting a lot out of it too and are very moved. So it's the kind of movie that they just don't make anymore, which I really appreciate because Jeff does.